I'm Jesse Allender, registered dietitian and professional chef, and I am bringing you Cooking Nutrition Connections. A few days ago, I posted my delicious uh, marmalade uh, salad dressing. Um, I like to make a vinaigrette salad dressing out of whatever jar is emptying, a jelly jar, a mustard jar, an olive oil bottle, a vinegar bottle, um, to save those last few drops, because I'm really, really, really super frugal. Um, but also to make tasty inventive dressings. It caught it saves so much money even if you're not you know using the bottom of a jar to make your salad dressing at home. Um, even if you buy mayonnaise to start your base with, um, not one of my biggest recommendations, but a lot of people like a creamy dressing so a mayonnaise and then flavor it at home. like you can make your Thousand Island, um, you can make a quasi Caesar. Um, you can make fresh Caesar dressing at home as well, too. Not so tough to do. Saves you a bunch of money. Uh, me and my family are home for uh, the COVID-19 uh, lockdown, stay-at-home order here in Chicago. Buddy, would you like some more apricots? Yeah. Can I help you? Bring them over here. I just had somebody come and get some more apricots. I love keeping dried fruit around. Great snack for the kids. Yeah, and then there you go. Okay. Um, I just got some groceries. I had, um, we have, we're very lucky in our neighborhood in Hyde Park in Chicago. We have a great little local store called Hyde Park Produce. Hyde Park Produce, go there. It's an awesome shop. Um, they have dried apricots and they took my order over the phone. A person took it. I went on their website. Use their website if you can. It saves everybody a bunch of time. Um, but some of the products that I wanted, I couldn't find on the website. Um, so I called and I talked to a person and they brought me my order. And one of the things I promised to do when I made that salad dressing was to show you guys my lettuce mix. So that's what we're gonna work on today. So here I have a head of escarole. This is a relatively um, bitter green. Um, I like the curly kind, I like the flat kind. This is a ingredient in um, Italian wedding soup if you're gonna be making that. It's delicious uh, roasted or braised. Uh, it's a vegetable that can go that way, but um, this is escarole. This is also in the chicory family. This is radicchio. Radicchio is red and it's really tight um, and firm there. You have other snacks on the table, buddy. Um, uh, so this is one of the things I always put in my lettuce mix. Uh, you could use red cabbage for the color pop. Um, I like the bitterness of the radicchio. And then I mixed that with some sweet lettuce. Uh, today I got um, this gorgeous, look at how big this thing is, this gorgeous head of romaine lettuce. So the thing about lettuce is it pushes up out of the ground through the dirt and so oftentimes you'll get some sandy soil sediment inside at the bottom. So it's very important to wash your lettuce and that's what we're going to work on today. The last thing I have is, oh my god, look at this 89 cents bunch of parsley. It's twice the size of my head. Um, so I am going to add about half this head of parsley into my salad mix because I love parsley. Parsley is the... Uh, I, Correct me if I'm wrong, people go out and Google it. You guys can do the Googling um, and correct me in the comments. But my understanding is that um, parsley is the richest source of vitamin K. Now typically we just have a, like a sprig of parsley on top of our food. Sometimes we'll chop it into a delicious salad with mostly parsley, like tabbouleh. A traditional tabbouleh has bulgur wheat in it, um, so I don't eat it because um, I'm gluten free. But uh, it has like, quite a bit of chopped parsley in it. I put parsley in all sorts of things and I like to eat it straight. And at our Passover Seder last week, my kids are taking after me. They were eating parsley by the handful. Thank Baruch Hashem. I'm so grateful that my kids love to eat green vegetables. So this is how I operate my salad cleaning. I've got my cutting board here. I've got my big chef's knife. And then one piece of equipment I have. I don't have a dishwasher. I don't have a microwave. Um, my crazy life. Uh, I, I, I don't have a lot of pieces of equipment. I don't have a lot of fancy stuff in our lifestyle here, but one thing that I always keep is a salad spinner because I eat a lot of salad and it's a lot less expensive to wash it and dry it at home and keep it in a bag um, in the refrigerator. So I've got my salad spinner here. And also we're standing at the sink today. I've got my clean uh, pink bucket um, full of water. Uh, nice, fresh, cold water. We we'll fill that up, and so what we're going to do is we're going to chop our lettuce, take the cores out, and mix it together. I'm going to cut it in half. The radicchio has a tiny little core, 
right there. Um, you can even slice it in. It's got more intense flavor um, than other parts of it. I like to slice the radicchio relatively thin. I like to quarter the head at least, and then slice it nice and thin. Let's see. If I stand over here, then you guys can see how the knife goes. So I'm slicing it really nice and um, it's not chiffonade. It's, it's a little bit thicker than that. There we go. Show you how thick it is on my hand. There we go. And that goes into the bucket of water. Sometimes what I do is I rotate what I'm cutting to just go ahead and help it mix. I've got more of the core on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and trim Mommy, that out. Why did the waffle come in? Why did I what, buddy? Why did the waffle come in? Oh, I don't know. But can you put the garbage back where I had it in my sneaky spot? Because I had it there and I had it open so I could just magically drop things in it. <laughs> kids. <laughs> Not kids. Um, so here we go again. going to add a nice color, a nice flavor. All lettuces are rich uh, in vitamins and minerals. They all have some vitamin K, but vitamin K, what is vitamin K? I hear you cry. Vitamin K is super important in clotting, in blood clotting. Um, you can remember it, K for clots. Um, I don't know if that's how it got named. Okay, go in the pantry for a second, buddy. So there's the radicchio into the bucket of water. Um, next, I'm going to get my romaine in there. Like I said, this is a huge head of romaine. I'm going to... I want to get something from there. Oh, no, I don't need anything from there, buddy. Come on out. Why don't you go watch the movie? Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's not a bug. Don't worry. It's a piece of broccoli. <laughs> Tiny piece of broccoli in my... Um, in, it must have been sitting next to the broccoli. I had broccoli in my bag, too, so I'm going to put that in my salad. That's all right. Um, so here we go, cutting romaine. This is a huge head. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to look at it to see how much dirt is in there. This one is really kind of clean. Here is a core of romaine. A lot of people buy uh, romaine hearts. I find them to be really pale. And one thing we know is that some of the antioxidants that help to keep us healthy and help to keep our immune systems boosted, the darker the color of the vegetable, uh, the more antioxidants are present, is my understanding. Again, please Google this and correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'd rather just, you know, not spend my time doing research. Y'all are going to correct me on anyway. So um, here we go. So I folded it under. I cut it in half again, but I kept the core intact um, so that it would hold together so I could slice it. And again, I'm going to make apricot. nice... You can have another apricot when all the nuts are gone. Why don't you okay. go eat all the nuts that I gave you, okay? Okay. And you can eat your matzo too. Because I want you to have a balanced intake, not just apricots. Does anybody else out there have a fruit of terry? I don't like the nuts. I don't like the nuts. Okay, then eat your matzo. Then can I have, then can I have another apricot? We will talk about it. So I got to the core and I switched my angle so I could not uh, keep the core. And I'm going to throw the core away. And also, here's some of the dirt that you might see on lettuce. It's just um, I eat, I eat in my it's a brown, mama. sandy soil I dirt. I'm going to rinse that mama. there. Oh, good. Eat it all. Eat, eat all your matzo, and then maybe I'll get you another apricot. You've had a bunch of apricots. Uh, he is a fruit fruitarian, which is awesome. He loves fruit, and he loves vegetables, but he often doesn't eat more hearty things. So he is growing exponentially. Um, hey, don't take those in the kitchen, in the living room, buddy. He is taking advantage. I'll be right back. Okay, two more, and then that's it for apricots. No more apricots today. He would go through this whole box if I let him. So I'm going to put those in the secret spot. Keep them far away from everybody. Okay. So here's my other head, my other half of my head of romaine. I'm going to go ahead and add that into my salad mix. I'm going to do the same thing. Cut it in half. And then I'm going to tuck it under itself to just give myself uh, less places I need to cut, less places my knife needs to get to. Still going to have some nice big pieces. 
I want them to be fork friendly, of course. That's super important so that when I go to eat my salad, um, I'm not fighting uh, to get it into my mouth, right? You want to just have it nice. I remember watching Julia Child as a, Julia Child as a child because I, yeah, that was my thing. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome, buddy. Um, Julia Child was my um, afternoon uh, fun. Um, I know other people were out there watching um, uh, He-Man and um, Power Rangers. I was watching in the yeah in the uh, 70s and 80s. Uh, I was watching Julia Child and Jacques Pepin and Graham Kerr um, and um, the Frugal Gourmet. What was his name? I've forgotten. I'll look that up later. He was amazing. I loved his show. Jeff, right? Um, so there's the romaine in there. And then here comes the escrow. Like I said, I called in my order and I said curly. Maybe they didn't have any and they gave me this instead. It's still going to be delicious. Um, I'm very happy to have this. I'm very happy to have had that delivery. Um... Cause like I tried to do, I also got an Instacart from Aldi, which was great, you know, cause right now I'm home with two kids, so I can't really uh, go to the store myself. Um, and so that was super, but I tried to get uh, some other delivery services from, from some other stores. And not only was there not a delivery time available yesterday or today or tomorrow, there was just no delivery times available. Uh, here in Chicago so I'm so very blessed to have our little grocery store um, that pretty much got me everything I needed um, there's one or two things but we'll work that out so here we go this one's smaller so I don't need to um, do the fold under like I did with the romaine nice Okay, so there we go. So this whole, um, these three heads of lettuce and the parsley totaled up to $6. The romaine was uh, $189, I think. This amazing bunch of parsley was um, uh, $0.80. Cents. <laughs> Thank you. It's a beautiful bunch of parsley. I think I'll take a little bit more. There, that's good. Reserve that for some other um, uses, and I'm going to trim the bottom of the stem. I would I, t I I put the stems. I have a lot of stems left, so I'm not worried about it. Um, I put the stems in my soup stocks. I put my stems in my um, poaching broth if I'm poaching fish, um, but I'm not going to save those today because uh, it's okay. Sometimes I save, sometimes I don't. So here's my parsley. I'm going to fold that under. Can serve my chops. I'm gonna chop this really big because I don't want the parsley too small, right? But I don't want the lettuce too big, but I don't want the parsley too small because I want to be able to get it on my fork. Good. Okay, parsley in my giant, giant bucket of greens, and then I'm gonna turn the water on, get a little bit more water, get the parsley off my hands, and I'm gonna dive in there and get it soaking. Uh, so I like doing it with a big bucket of water and the dirt is really good. Just a little bit of washing, a little bit of shake in there. Gets, this is pretty clean. It is pre-washed. Heads of lettuce are washed at the farm. Uh, they are washed before getting into the case. Usually um, top lettuce, you know, that you buy in the bag, that's triple washed. That's, that's not this case. That's why we've got to wash it at home. Um, but, you know, the level of work is, is totally worth it because this is going to be at least uh, twice as much, if not three times as much, as what you get in a large clamshell of mixed baby greens. Um, you can also keep you know, lettuce whole on the leaf and cut it per salad, but in my house, as a single parent with two kids here, um, <laughs> I uh, sometimes I have like, you know, what, well, when we're you know on a regular regular uh, school schedule going to um, school at a place not in the house um, 
uh, you know, I get 90 seconds to, to make my dinner decisions. So I, I've got my strainer here. I've got my bucket full of lettuce. I cannot do all of this at once. I'm going to take two nice big handfuls and put it in there. And one thing I can do to make sure it's clean is when I spin it, I can look at my water. And if my water is super filthy, um, then I need to wash it a second time. But I'll still bag it, throw out the water, and then wash it again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spin and bag it right now. I'm gonna unlock my spinner. Most spinners have a break button. I don't know if you, you knew that. But here, the water has some lettuce in it and has some green color. Where can where are we? There we are. It has some green color to it, but there is no sandy grit in there at all. So I'm very happy with the cleanliness of my lettuce. Um, I will check every one, but I'm pretty sure. And we'll see what kind of sediment is at the bottom of the bucket so you can see how much dirt is actually is out. Good. So um, for storage, I just reuse, whoop, don't fall down Instapot. I reuse a produce bag that the lettuce came in. Um, you know, sometimes when the produce goes in the bag, they get dirty. So I've rinsed the bag out and let it um, hang out on my dish rack to dry off a little bit. Here we go. Got the bottom wet. Roll back in. Dump and fill. This is pretty much uh, approximately, we use butter lettuce, but this is pretty much the lettuce mix that we used. I learned this lettuce mix at uh, when I worked for, oh Craig, I'm gonna get your last name wrong, Halpern, Halpern at uh, Spoonful Restaurant on 53rd. For those of you that'll remember, I was, I don't know if I ever was technically a sous chef. I was, I was lead line cook, that's a minimum. Craig, Mark, Uriah, y'all get on here and correct me. I've called you out by name, I know. But it's a lettuce mix that I, I really adore. I think it's I think it's a lot heartier and crunchier than uh, mixed baby greens. I like mixed baby greens, but like I said, um, lots of green, lots of little bits of lettuce, but no dirt. Yay. Um, one more sec. Um, that was a really great job. A little storefront. It's where um, Virtue is now, where A10 was before. And for a long, long time in the space that we had designed for it uh, was Noodles here in Hyde Park. The history of Hyde Park restaurants, if you wanted, I can do it. Um, uh, that was a great little run over there. I really enjoyed working there. We made a lot of good stuff. So you do, you know, the color is the nutrition, um, and some of that is washing away. Some of you are like, oh no, you're washing away all the nutrition. Well, you're not. You're washing away some of it. Um, there's an abundance of nutrition in fresh, raw uh, vegetables. Um, so for instance, uh, you know, a lot of people get nervous about vitamin C getting cooked away. So green pepper is actually a really great source of vitamin C. And if you cook a green pepper, you guys can go Google this. And if I'm wrong, I want to know, so tell me. But my understanding is, is that when you cook a green pepper, even if you throw out the water, you'll reduce the vitamin C available in it by 50% in the whole green pepper. And you know, that's gonna be one part of your day's food, right? It's like gonna be in like a, what, like, or like a baked, like a stuffed pepper. That's you, a lot of stuffed peppers are really high in fat, so we're not gonna go there. But in any event, if you cook that green pepper and reduce it by 50%, you still have 25% of the day's vitamin C in that whole green pepper, right? Because it had 50% to begin with, and you reduced it by 50%, so you're left with 25. Math, I know, I love it. Um, and so it's still a very valuable thing, and you don't need to go all raw all the time. I, I, I'm really not a fan, and neither is my therapist, <laughs> of all or nothing thinking. I've been doing a lot of all or nothing thinking 
on this lockdown. It's been it's been intense, right? Any other parents out there? Just everybody. It's intense no matter what your situation is. It's an intense, intense time. Intense time of change. Intense time. It's so, um, life is so very incredibly different. All right. Nice dry lettuce. Um, put this over here so it doesn't crash. And then I'm going to get this into my produce bag. And this is like going to be packed in here tight and be larger than a large size tray of, um, look at that, look at that. Like I said, like my head comparison, right? Huge, huge. So I get it all in the bag. And it looks, it can compress really nicely and get the air out of there. It's the, it's the air, the oxygen that turns your lettuce, that rusts your lettuce, that causes that oxidation. Um, so I try to get as much air as possible out of there. It, it always suctions like this. Somebody in physics, come tell me why it does that. Um, but it does, and there we go. I have cleaned lettuce in a bag, ready for my salads um, uh, for the week or more. This should last for um, about a week and a half, even though I have a nice two handful salad um, most days uh, uh, for lunch and most days at dinner time. I enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy some salad with the vinaigrette. Um, later on, I will post my perfect salad, my chef salad. A chef's salad depends on who the chef is. So have a great day. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay well. And thank you so much for all you do out there. Eba.